battered wife who killed husband who raped and beat her freed from jail after 20 months a domestic abuse victim who shot her husband dead after suffering years of sexual and physical abuse has been freed from prison after 20 months. Tina Talbot left the Huron Valley Correctional Facility in Washtenaw County, Michigan, early on Tuesday after serving the minimum sentence imposed on her over the September 2018 shooting of spouse Miwash Shipanovich, 45. Talbot, 53, was jailed for up to 15 years in February 2019 after admitting manslaughter, with the sentence sparking an online campaign to free her. She had been abused for two decades by Shipanovich, and had been so badly beaten in the days before his death that she required medical treatment. Waterford Police Department released a photo of Talbot with a heavily bruised face and black eye taken on the day they arrested her for Shipanovitz's shooting. The battered wife was freed after a parole board interviewed her and deemed that she wasn't going to be a danger to society if released. Talbot cited the need to care for her young autistic son as part of the reason why she should be freed. Shipanovitz's family unsuccessfully appealed the decision to release Talbot, the Detroit News reported. Talbot's attorney Jerome Sabota said his client's late husband was a brutal man who had severely abused his wife before his death. Speaking on behalf of Talbot in court last April, Sabota said he breaks her arm, beats her with a chair. The next two days he rapes her, beats and does all kinds of things. Sabota said Talbot had been driven to kill her spouse to save herself and her seven-year-old son. He added, Seven months later, Tina was sentenced to prison. Tina is not a criminal. She is a victim of domestic violence. Talbot would have likely faced a murder charge had she not agreed to admit her husband's manslaughter.